And it, it could ge- it could go either of two ways. Just one of those games, which I'm leaning toward, or they just can't compete without OG and without a fully functional uh, Jalen Brunson. If it's the latter, then the series is done. But they, they had that same situation Friday, and it took an otherworldly shot to, to win the game for the Pacers. So it's, it's hard for me to really wrap my mind around it. They played horribly yesterday. They looked a step slow. Um, the, the Villanova tr- three, their shots were a little short, which means that they're tired. And also Brunson's shots were short, which could be a reflection of the bad foot. Um, it, it, was, it was a sobering, sobering game. It would be very, very intriguing to see how they respond tomorrow. Yeah. It was a horrifying game, Don. But, but the reason I, I tend to fall on the positive side of things, too, is because of what we saw from them on Friday. Now, obviously, if they'd stolen that game Friday night, you feel fantastic. Yep. Even with what happened yesterday, if they'd stolen Friday, it wouldn't even matter, right? No. But in your typical game four up 3-0. Then like, you who would, cares? Yeah, exactly. It wouldn't have mattered. It would have been a gentleman's sweep. The way that because they weren't able to steal Friday and because yesterday was so disgusting... It worries you a little bit more. I think you'll sense that trepidation in the garden tomorrow. But I tend on to still not be worried about this team. My one critique, I would say, besides everything, because they were just brutally bad, is I started texting you guys. I, I, midway through the third, I start going, all right, what's our plan here with Brunson? Why are we wasting time? He should be resting. They they kept him in, I think, till about four minutes left in the third. Right. I think, frankly, Michael, early in the game, you said, we, we said if halfway through the third they haven't made a run, they should pull Brunson. Yep. It kind of felt like the way the game was playing out. I don't know if you felt, Don. By like nine minutes left in the third, there was no I would run. have said pull Brunson out. There's no. Yeah, let's there's get no a full run. half a rest here. There's no run, but you never know. Players don't want to come out of games. I get it, but it didn't have that feel of, well, the NBA is a game of runs and the Knicks will be heard from. Never felt like that was going to no. happen. It's a throwaway game, guys. It just happens. Every single one of their games have been close the entire playoffs. We were due to kind of have a game like that. I don't think that would have happened had they lost Game 3 um, in the fashion in which they had lost it. Like, if they had gotten blown out, then I'd be really legitimately concerned. But they could have very easily won Game 3. And everybody's walking out of there going, boy, if that's if that's the best the Pacers can do with no OG and a compromised Brunson, then we're in great shape. Well, I think it was just a humbling feeling of, well, no, it's not going to be that easy. That's the only conclusion I come to, Michael is that now it's not going to be easy. It's at least going six, and I wouldn't be shocked if it goes seven. So anybody that thought they were going to cruise, get some rest, maybe finish their series the same time as the Celtics finish the Heat series, uh, the the, the uh, Cavaliers series, I think that's over now. Now you know you're in for a dogfight. And I don't think you can be 100% confident anymore. Anybody that calls up this show and says, we're fine, and we're, there's no way we're losing this series, I think they're kind of kidding themselves. I still think they could win the series, no question. But, Michael, there at least has to be doubt. Serious doubt now because of what happened yesterday. But I still think they'll win. Now, you you remember what I said uh, after game two. It's just very curious to me that Brunson can miss a quarter and a half and then come back and all of a sudden, as if, you know, he'd been touched by the hand of God, he's better. That guy doesn't miss a quarter and a half unless there's something seriously wrong. So I don't know if he's playing through extraordinary pain uh, if he's just if he's just gritting it out, which is his way, he's not the same player. He wasn't the same player in the, in the close game on Friday, and he certainly didn't seem like the player that we all know and love yesterday. So that's a concern. I don't think you're going to get Ananobi back at all this series. I don't. You know, I, I mm. wonder if you're going to get him back at all. I, I, I would you say that's on the table? I guess. I mean, if they make the finals, uh, you definitely get him back. It's according to when the, the Eastern Conference finals start, you you might be able. I mean, he's still running in the pool. So this guy, and there's no knock on him, just looking at his, his past, not the quickest healer. And if you really pull a hamstring, doesn't matter if you're a quick healer or not, there's nothing you could do. So he's out. All of a sudden, you're putting a lot of responsibility on the shoulders of Precious Achua, who's a good player. He's not OG Ananobi. So they're, they're shorthanded, and I love I, I, I love the continuing narrative, and you know I did on TNT as well. You know this is on Tibbs. You can't keep playing. Who's he going to play? Shake Milton? Well, what are you going to do? You you saw they played Jericho Sims. He had a backcourt violation. I mean, the guys on the bench are the deepest guys on the bench. The guys that are their depth are hurt. 
So I don't know what these guys want them to do. Well, Alan Hahn broke out a great line about Shaq, uh, about um, Charles Barkley. When the Phoenix Suns made that run to the NBA Finals, he averaged 45 minutes a game. So what's he talking about? That's what great teams do, great players do. They play all the time. So all of them got a blow yesterday. Hart got a blow. Yeah, he was out Even for a long Chenjo time. Even got a blow. And obviously Brunson needed it. So we'll see if they, they rebound tomorrow. Again, I'm going to lean toward being Mr. Optimistic, which is not my reputation. But there are some things to really be concerned about because if Brunson's Fire. really hurt, any chance they have of making a run, forget about this series. If they actually get well, past this series and go and play Boston, it's almost nil. You want, you want the ultimate um, glass half full take? Love it. Uh, guess what? It could always be worse. You could be the Minnesota Timberwolves right now. Okay? You're not. And this thing is totally still on par. It yeah, is, but the Minnesota Timberwolves are healthy. Uh, Michael, yeah, but they but just it lost two home games. They, they, they now are going back to Denver. I get it. To a place that thought the series was over. Yeah. Can you imagine what Denver's going to be the, like? The yeah. By the way, I'll call it right now. That series is over. I'm going to now completely it, reverse right. course. No, you're right. You're it's 4-2. Right. It's, it's over. That's the thing. Because you look at And the reason, because the venue matters, right? It was over. Minnesota was going to win easy because they won the two games in Denver. Well, now it's a role reversal because they won the two games in Minnesota. All the Pacers did was hold serve. Everything. And now the, and the, it's a best of three. With two, two games, games in New York, and, and 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 coming off now a little rest. Now the 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 hard part is, of course, assuming OG doesn't come back, that is problematic. But as we saw on Friday night, there is reason to believe this team can compete and win a game. They easily could have won that game without OG and Anunoby. So I'm not feeling bad about where they are. Whereas if you are a T Wolf fan right now, Don, there's there's chocolate soft serve in your pants. Yeah, no, you just you just you blow it. Right? I mean, all you had to do was win one game in Denver, and the series is pretty much over. And now it's in it, the, the, no, the defending one game at home. One game, one game at home, excuse me. One game at home. See, that's what's so weird about it's it. It's so weird. Th- how does that happen in the NBA? It happens in hockey all the time, but it never happens in the NBA where the road team's undefeated. Crazy. Uh, the Knicks for tomorrow are two and a half point favorites. Okay. What does that tell you though? Because weren't they? What were they? What were they was five and a half? Seven and a half at first. Was well, it that five was, and a half? no. They were seven and a half point dog. Friday. For Friday. Friday. But what were they favorite in game two? It was like five? I think it was five and a half. Yeah. yeah. So well, now the series. Three. The series. The Knicks were minus two twenty five to start the series. Now the Pacers are minus one twenty. And what are the Knicks? Well, the Pacers are obviously the favorite to win the series. They're yeah, although it dogs. is it is weird sometimes. Sometimes it'll still say well, Pacers are minus 120 and the Knicks are minus plus 120. 100. But plus 100. Plus 100. Well, but no, but Slight that, dogs. But it makes no sense. Why? Because the Knicks are the favorite in Game 5. If the Knicks are the favorite in Game 5, you would assume they'd be the favorite in Game 7, so why would the Pacers be favored to win the series? Yeah, that is odd. Because that's not how it works. I guess not, because they know better than I do. But, Michael, wouldn't the logic dictate? Well, maybe they just think that with the, the injuries the way they are, if, if they reach a game seven, then then that means that OG probably didn't play and, and Brunson's still hurt. I, I mean, I, I'm just assuming no, what they're thinking. But that doesn't even make sense, because if OG doesn't come back in the series, uh, you're still having them favored in game five. So Vegas thinks they're going to win game five, which means they'd win game five without OG. So then, that then then you've got a chance to win Game Six. All right, Pacers will be favored because they're home. What would make the Knicks be a dog in Game Seven if they're not a dog getting blown out yesterday for the game at home? I, I, I listen. They they obviously have some sort of a formula, but that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Well, that is the uh, that's the situation right now. Um, you know, one one thing that.